Hi, this is Ty with Blue Notary. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over the invite signer process from your business admin account. Now, your notaries also have the ability to send out invitations as long as you enabled this when you added them to your team. But when you are inviting from your admin account, there's a couple key differences. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to be doing a RON session type. And then here we have our primary signer's name and our primary signer's email. If you're doing something special, like maybe you're doing a credible witness, or maybe you know one signer personally, and you don't know the other signer, so they need to go through authentication, if that's what it says so in your state statutes, then you're able to select different signers to have different authentication types. You're also able to add people from your contact books. So once they've pretty much been added, once they get added to your contact books, and then you can keep the information over and over again. Don't have to keep inputting that again. If you're able to add a witness. You can use a Blue Notary on-demand witness. This costs $10 to use a Blue Notary witness through our network. You can also add these from within the session, which is what I usually recommend that people do. But if you're adding your own witnesses, this is going to be completely free to you. And if you're doing a credible witness, this is where you would select that the witness needs to go through ID verifications. Once the witnesses have been added once, they'll be available in your My Witness pool, which is kind of like your contact list. You're also able to enter a session reference number here under session details. So say you're working on the Plexiglass Construction Group account, you can actually type in the full name or you can type in a number if you guys have an internal reference number on your end. And then the way we break up our sessions is either the session is going to be general notary work, which is like power of attorneys, affidavits, acknowledgements, anything like that, or closings. Closings would encompass things like HELOCs, refinancing, huge packages, uh, estate planning packages, things like that. So for most of you guys, it's just going to be general notary work. But if you are doing an estate planning or a HELOC or something like that, you just select this closing. And for both, general notary work and closings, you have the option to add observers. Observers can be anybody that's involved in the session that isn't necessarily a signer or a witness. So for example, we have an attorney, a translator, a contractor, anything like that. And you can also type in their role, a role that we don't have. If we haven't specified a role that you have for this person. And for this, we just need their first name, last name, email, and phone number. And then these guys are able to come into the session without going through any sort of authentication. They're also able to have access to the documents afterwards if you need this. Now, this is the part where it really gets different from a notary account and your business admin account. From the business account, you can kind of select who is going to be your notary for the session. You can also select if you're going to have a pre-tagger for the session. But in addition to this, Say the notaries on your team are busy. You have a client that needs to get something done right away. For this, you're going to select an on-demand certified notary. This is also what you would select if you don't have any notaries associated with your account. So you're able to select on-demand certified notary. You're still able to select a pre-tagger if you need to, if you have one on your team. But for the most part, most people aren't going to be doing this. Now, when it comes to scheduling your session, we have three options. One is to let the signer choose. It's usually the least chosen option. The second is to notarize right now. And the third is to schedule a session for later. This is the most common option that's chosen. And the thing about this is if you schedule it for later and something comes up, say somebody calls and says, hey, this is scheduled for tomorrow, but I need to get it done today. Your notaries are still able to come into the session with the signer at any time prior to the session and get going. It's not like you have to wait around for that exact time for the session to get started. So for this example, I'm just going to select notarize now. And then for uploading documents, you're able to upload documents from your computer right here. You can either drag and drop. You can drag and drop multiple files at a time. You can select multiple files at a time when you click this upload button. Or if you've gone through and pre-tagged documents, and you can just come up here and select the pre-tagged document. So this is useful if you're doing the same documents over and over again. It's going to come in, you're going to have a new signer, new signer's name, new signer's initials. It's going to have the new date. So you don't have to keep doing the same information over and over again, and you can save some time on your end. So this is the invite process. As soon as I send this invitation, your signer is going to receive an email that looks basically like this. So it's going to say, hi, customer name, 
It's going to have any custom messaging that you have applied within your settings. Or if you are just sending it through an on-demand notary, it'll just have our regular messaging. And it's going to include instructions for what your signer needs to be ready for the session, which is going to include a government-issued ID or driver's license if they have to go through authentication, a computer with audio and video, and of course, strong internet. And all I need to do is click get started, and they're going to get brought right into the session to either meet with a notary from your team or one of our on-demand notaries. So if you found this tutorial useful and helpful, please follow along, like, and subscribe, and there will be plenty more. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day.